platformer, a game in which a player-controlled character jumps between suspended platforms in order to reach a goal. OK, easy start. Everyone knows what a platform game is. Arguably, the first platform game was Nintendo's Donkey Kong in 1982, in which Mario, known then only as Jumpman, had to jump over barrels and prance between girders in order to impress a lady. At their best, trad platform games are essentially little living cartoons, sometimes explicitly so, as in Tiny Toon Adventures here, or Platformers have also been a good launch pad for characters such as Sonic the Hedgehog seen here rolling at high speed through a jolly cartoon world just like real hedgehogs don't. Unbreaking Super Mario 64 which brought the third dimension to platform games with stunning confidence and most recently the downright psychedelic Super Mario Galaxy titles. Shoot 'em up, a game in which the player avoids attacks while shooting enemies, usually in two dimensions. Shoot 'em ups, or shmups for short, range from the famous Spartan killing grounds of Space Invaders to the cartoonish idiocy of Parodius. Shoot 'em ups are not to be confused with the following. First Person Shooter, a 3D weapon based combat game viewed from the protagonist's vantage point. The earliest first person games for the home were basic flick screen affairs such as 3D Monster Maze on the ZX81, the first 3D game for any home computer. And it was surprisingly frightening despite its Spartan visuals and complete lack of sound. And it was scary partly because at the time, seeing through the eyes of your character was a total novelty. Torrents of first person shooters erupted, including stone cold classics like Goldeneye and the sprawling sci fi loveliness of the Halo series. Simulation computerized recreation of a real world activity. One of the very first sims was Atari's eerie impersonal battle zone, a tank simulator in which you hovered through a wireframe environment murdering blameless tanks. Flight sims have always been popular, albeit bewilderingly complex, and they're another good example of how graphics have evolved. The term simulation or sim covers everything from obvious applications like a flight sim or a racing game to more esoteric examples, like the grisly surgical slice em up Trauma Center Second Opinion on the Wii. Doctor. Other sims include the thrilling domestic drudgery of The Sims or the tranquil rural boredom of this farming simulator, which. Strategy, a game which tests the player's tactical decision making skills. Popular strategy games include cerebral titles like Civilization, in which you conquer the planet either militarily or culturally, and more action oriented fare like the microscopic killing fields of Command and Conquer. Strategy games are brilliant if you love plans and planning. Puzzle Game, a game involving a puzzle. The inherently satisfying slot em up Tetris is the best known puzzler, but there's also an intriguing new breed that experiments with other gaming forms to mind expanding effect. Games like the challenging portal, in which you have to play with physics and spatial awareness, or even platform puzzles, courtesy of the insanely clever time meddling indie game Braid. RPG or role playing game, an interactive narrative with the emphasis on exploration in which the player's character develops over the course of time. Role-playing games like Final Fantasy are massive time sponges, basically, in which you spend hours building up characters and going on epic, epic quests. MMORPG, massively multiplayer online role-playing game, a virtual environment in which large numbers of players may interact with each other. This is your World of Warcraft online fantasy world type thing, which soaks up hours of your time as you run around pretending you're an archmage. Casual games, video games aimed at novice players, often scarcely considered traditional games at all. Right now, casual games are probably the most rapidly expanding sector of the gaming market, and it's largely thanks to little magic sticks like these. Ooh. I'm not a huge fan of the Wii, largely because sitting around on my sofa flapping my arms around isn't my idea of entertainment. Although it does make some games, such as the brightly coloured Cooking Mama here, accessible to newcomers because you're performing actions rather than jabbing a complex array of buttons. For instance, how do you define the bizarre Windham up flower in which you control a breeze blowing petals around? Or the serene safari photography game Africa? Rhythm action game, loose musical simulation in which the player must perform actions in time to music in order to succeed. Musical games were first popularised in the late 90s by the hallucinatory Parappa the Rapper for the PlayStation. There's been a huge explosion in rhythm action games recently, thanks to the success of Guitar Hero and Rock Band, with the Fab Four joining the ride with the release of the Beatles' Rock Band spin-off. <laughs>